Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Vicious. I'm just checking back in. This is going to be an answer to my own video about the issue I was suffering when I upgraded to 10 gigabit. I started seeing packet loss with my Plex jail inside of FreeNAS. So uh, very sluggish to respond, not responding to pings, some very strange behavior uh, where if I was on a 1 gigabit uplink, it would work fine. Or if I stopped the Plex services on 10 gigabit, it would work fine. And it just made no sense to me. Also, from last night and through most of the day today, I was troubleshooting while free, why FreeNAS was the only system in my entire environment that wasn't giving me consistent 10 gigabit speeds. If I ran any other virtual machine that was in my ESXi host environment and then sent uh, a PF, an iPerf test towards uh, my desktop, which is also in the 10 gigabit, those two uplinks here, they all got like 9 gigabits per second. FreeNAS, however, with jails running, was only giving me about 2 to 3 gigabits per second. And with the jails turned off, was giving me about 5, sometimes maybe as high as 6. And uh, I've been troubleshooting it. I was on their forums, which, by the way, the guys there were, were not very helpful at all. And they were actually pretty rude. Uh, and told me pretty much it's my hardware and it's not compatible and I'm running outdated crap. And I was like, nope, I've done every kind of testing you can imagine to narrow this down to a single point of failure, which is FreeNAS itself. And uh, guess what? It was FreeNAS and I was able to fix it. And the way that I fixed it was very interesting. I've always had just one network adapter and the way FreeNAS handles these jails is it creates a bridged network adapter so that your one uplink, your one network adapter is shared uh, for everything. This also meant on ESXi, if you guys have ever had an issue where you can't uh, actually communicate to your, to your jails, like you can't ping them, this is probably your issue right here under your virtual switch, under security, you have to enable promiscuous mode, which makes it capture all the packets, and you have to enable forged transmits because basically uh, FreeNAS is going to look like it's spoofing IP addresses and spoofing MAC addresses and, and stuff like that. So if you have these on reject like I do right now, it will actually block those packets and you won't be able to commun communicate with your jails. So what I did to fix the issue, and this might be exclusive to the newer version of FreeNAS since I updated as part of my troubleshooting, I added three more network cards, three more virtual network interfaces to my VM. And then in FreeNAS itself under interfaces, and I'm still getting used to the new interface itself here. I've only left the one. I did not change anything here, but under the actual jails, what I did was under the configuration for the jail. You won't let me do it while it's running. Uh, I unchecked VMNet, which is the default option, and for the network interface to use, I actually assigned it directly to one of these virtual network cards that I added into it. And you can see now I have each one of those reporting back with their own IP from the jail. So no longer am I sharing a spoofed situation. Each jail talks out directly. And it just so happened to fix not one, but both of my issues. Now we have absolutely no delay or packet loss for the jails. This is the Plex one that was giving me all the trouble. Now it works perfectly. The other thing is it fixed my speed issues. So now, even with all three jails running, I will be getting at least eight gigabits. So there you go, eight, nine gigabits per second, which is pretty awesome. I have no tuning, no tweaking on the FreeNAS, which most people have to do when they're trying to get 10 gigabit working properly. And I don't have jumbo frames enabled either. So nine gigabits per second with all the jails running, it'll go up even higher if I turn some of them off. So, and uh, not only did it fix the packet loss to Plex, my transmission VMs, are ridiculously snappy now. Uh, they used to take a really long time to load, and I thought it was just because I had a lot of stuff in them, like uploading and downloading, and I used to, every once in a while, go delete things out to try to clear them up. No longer is that an issue. They are now ridiculously snappy. So this whole time I've had a network issue with FreeNAS and didn't even know it. It took 
the upgrade to the 10 gigabit network for me to notice I had an issue and then doing a lot of research and testing to figure out what the issue was. So this goes pretty strongly against what the free NAS people tell you to do. They say don't put multiple interfaces. Uh, they're talking about physical machines. So if you're in a ESXi environment like I am, this seems to work amazing, especially for a 10 gigabit network. So there you go. That was the answer to the problem. It has fixed so many things. I am so happy now. So I hope this video helps at least somebody else. And hope you guys enjoyed the video as usual. This was Vicious, and I'll see you next time.